Hello everyone, it is I, everyone's favorite jack of all trades with the foul mouth, Comet Urban. And today, thank you for tuning in for another episode of Collecting 101. In this episode, we're going to be talking about another thing you can collect from the Great Ocean Liners, and that would be postcards. Now, postcards are actually a very good way in starting to collect Ocean Liner memorabilia because they're relatively inexpensive and they're very easy to come by. And there is multiple different styles. Unless if you're wanting a postcard of like the Andrea Doria, the Titanic or something, you're not going to be paying a lot for it. So, to show you guys this, I have postcards of the SS United States. So, some of the, and there's many, 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 many different types of postcards of this ship. But these are just some of the styles that I have got my hands on. And the first style that I found, or that I've got here, is actually a postcard that is a reproduction of that painting there by W.J. Allwold. And this one here is a really nice, pretty color representation of her. And on the back side it says, New S.S. United States. And it talks about the fact that the ship, uh, you know, established transatlantic speed records, you know, in 1952. So this, these postcards... This would have been shortly published, shortly after the ship made her record-breaking run. And I've seen these postcards now online between about 15 and 20 bucks. I bought, I got that for five. This style of postcard is actually based off of another painting. This painting is now in the um, Merchant Marine Museum in New York. But on the back side here... You can see it says, you know, gross tonnage 51,821, length 990, and I actually have three of these pooch cards. And I actually have three of these pooch cards. Um, this one here is different because this one does not ex does not mention SS America at all. But this one and this one do and they're all different on the back side see wait oh wait these two don't mention america this one mentions america see a running mate the beautiful s is america this one mentions america these two do not so these postcards were printed after america was decommissioned from service in 1964 this one was prior so, yeah, I know I got three of them. I know it's fucking crazy, but, you know, I, I was, at, at one point, I was buying lots. I was buying groups of items from the ship, and, of course, postcards were included. And another group of postcards I have, yes, I have these. And this painting of the ship was done by a man named Skinner. And at the bottom it says, SS United States World's Fastest Liner. And on the back sides, I believe they're all the same. Yes, they're all the same. See, SS America. These are all the same postcard, same everything. Uh, let's go ahead and just take a good look at a good look at one of them. We can look. You can see here the painting of the ship. It is the same painting as on the front cover of the original first edition of the big ship. And uh, I remember buying one of these for like two dollars, and one of these came with a group of items I got for Christmas one year, and another one came inside of a brochure I bought. When I opened up the brochure, it fell out. I was like, "Whoa, that's a nice little bonus." So, and another type of postcards you can get were called photograph postcards. They're postcards with actual pictures of the ship on them, such as this one with a ship with the United States leaving Newport News on her sea trails. You can see there in the background is the United States Science Freighter American Harvester. They're sailing past behind her. And at the bottom of the postcard it says SS United States. Length 990 feet. Breadth 101.6 feet. Gross tonnage 53,330. Now on the back side it just says postcard actual photograph. And that's what they say on both of them. That's the same, same exact postcard. This one I remembered buying. I paid 
eight bucks for it. This one came in a group of items I bought. Okay, and here we go. Here's some other photograph postcards. This one is actually from a series called After the Battle. It's a uh, World War II through comparison, then and now photographs. And I bought it because it's such a really beautiful picture of the United States. That's the reason why I bought it. Such a beautiful picture, and there's a little bit of information regarding her. And this is another photograph, postcard. This one of the United States being nudged out of New York with help from a, a Moran tugboat. I'm trying to see. Looks like it says the Henry Henry Moran. And right there it says. Right there, and these are from the Hudson Waterfront Museum, I believe. So yeah, this is a nice post. And finally, I've got two more postcards here. You guys probably seen these before if you've seen my uh, Ravel United States Part 2 build. This one is the same postcard as all the other ones I showed you. The Skinner postcards, except this one has been shipped has been posted from the United States because there's her C post mark, C post, and it says United States. And I tried reading that shit. It's really, 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 really hard. I can't read that. It's like fucking chicken scratch. Now this one. This is a very early postcard because this picture of the United States is a concept picture. It's kind of showing people the general style of the ship before all the, you know, all everything, all the details were nailed down for. But what makes this postcard really fucking special is when it was, um, uh, when it was, uh, posted. Right here. SS United States maiden voyage from New York, July 1952 to Havre, Southampton. And it says right here, new flagship of the United States Lines now being built at the yard of the Newport News Shipbuilding and Dry Dock Company, Newport News, Virginia. This vessel will be 990 feet long, 101 feet 6 inches wide, and 51,500 gross tons. <laughs> Bullshit. Uh, she will be the largest, fastest, and finest vessel ever built in the United States and will have accommodation for 2,000 passengers. She will join the America and Transatlantic Service in summer 1952. And boy, she did, and she and she really set off a fucking bang. So yeah, there you have it, guys. And there right there is the postcard that I have from the United States. And like I was saying, if you have a particular ship you really like and you really enjoy, probably the first thing you could start collecting from them from that particular ship would be postcards. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions or comments about anything, leave it in the comment section below, and I'll get back with you. And as always, uh, stick around. And if you like my shit, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, become part of the Commodore's crew. So until next time, this is Commodore Urban. Have smooth seas and clear skies. Happy sailing with you. God bless you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay awesome. And be yourself. And uh, take care. And until next time.